At this point, the physics is done. Now we're just going to do some algebra. And we're going to solve for our tension force. And that's, that's all that's left. Yes, Ashley. Because I have, I'm basically, if you want to look at it this way, as I move up the ramp, it's moving completely in the x direction. There's going to be no motion in the y direction. And it's not accelerating in the y direction. And so since there's no acceleration, we have no force. And all this is saying is, I have no net force in my y direction. So this gravity component plus the normal is equal to zero. Or the normal force is equal to Fg cosine 25. And you can start plugging in the numbers now. You guys love numbers. Mg cosine 25. Um, 65 kilograms times 9.8 times 9.8 meters per second squared. And you get a value for the normal force, which is? 600. Okay, yeah, Maureen. That seems awfully high. Where did I get which first equation? Right here. I got, I got this equation by taking Fn minus Fg cosine 25 is equal to 0. And then I just brought this on the other side of the equation side. Why are you trying to figure out the y this Well, let me, get, let me go on and, we'll, and I'll answer that in a second. What, what is it? The norm. Oh, good Lord, people. 65 times 9.8 times 25 cosine times. Okay, wait a minute. I got 8.88. 9.8 times 65. I get 577. Okay. All right, 577 newtons. Now, let's take our x forces. And let's just write the same equation. I'm summing all the components in my f direction. So that's f minus fg sine 25 minus my frictional force, that's equal to ma. I just took, I took that guy, that guy, and that guy, and they equal that guy. Now, what's frictional force equal to? Mu n, I mean mu times uh, the normal force. So I needed the value for the normal force to get my frictional force. That's why we need to do that. Um, Fg is just Mg sine 25. I know a value for M and I know a value for A. So at this point, I'm just going to rewrite this equation. Bring in this weight term and this friction term over to the other side. I've got Ma minus Fg sine 25 minus my frictional force, 65 kilograms, 9.8 meters per second squared. Oh. Well. Oh, 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 oh. I was, you're right. I was... On dope, figuratively speaking, since this is being recorded, <laughs> 65 times 7, that's my acceleration. You're right, that should be those should be pluses. Thank you. 
Um, FG is mass times 9.8. That's what I was thinking. Times 25 plus my frictional force, which is 0.2, times the normal force, which is 577. And our overall, whoa, what the heck happened there? And our overall grand total, no. Let's call it 840. Now, so our total force is 840 newtons. Now, I knew it wasn't 79, what Holly said, because the plain old mass times acceleration is more than that. And I know a lot of people, if I give them this problem, they're just going to take mass times acceleration and say, that's the force you need to pull it up. That would be bad. Because you still have to overcome friction, which is this term. And you still have to overcome some part of gravity, which is that term. Now, like I said, this is a fairly complicated problem. I'm not going to throw 20 of these at you. Unless I really wanted a good laugh and watch you really just kill yourself in your desk. But... It's frowned upon by the administration when 20 kids kill themselves in one class. It's a lot of paperwork on my behalf, and it's right before Christmas, and I'm too lazy for that. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yes.